DIEP breast reconstruction stands for the deep inferior epigastric artery perforator flap. Uh, this is a technical term which refers to the blood vessels which supply the tissue in, from the lower abdomen. Essentially the procedure involves taking the lower abdomen skin and abdominal fat and transferring that to the chest to make a breast. It has the advantage of producing a soft, natural looking and natural feeling reconstruction. In suitable patients, it also has the added bonus of um, removing some of the excess tissue from the lower abdomen and essentially um, performing an abdominoplasty or tummy tuck procedure at the same time. The Dieppe reconstruction procedure can be performed as an immediate procedure at the time of mastectomy. It can also be performed uh, as a delayed procedure once you've completed your cancer treatment. In addition, it is also a very useful technique in patients who may previously have had an implant-based breast reconstruction which has become tight or uncomfortable or deteriorated over time. In such patients, the implant can be removed and the Dieppe uh, flap can be used to uh, reconstruct the breast. Dieppe flap reconstruction has become increasingly popular in recent years and the technique has been refined a lot. Um, it is now a very reliable, uh, reproducible procedure with low complication rates. So the Dieppe breast reconstruction flap is performed or can be performed at the time of mastectomy, which is called immediate reconstruction, or it can be performed as a delayed procedure once you've completed your cancer treatment. Now, essentially, the skin and fat from the lower abdomen is raised as a flap and the blood vessels supplying the tissue is carefully freed up from the muscle underneath and traced down into the pelvis. The tissue is then disconnected and transferred to the chest where it is joined up to blood vessels underneath the ribs using a microscope to restore the blood flow to the tissue. Uh, once the blood flow to the tissue is established, uh, the tissue is then shaped and sculptured and tailored to create a breast to match the contralateral breast. We call this the inset. Once this is complete, the abdomen is closed in a similar fashion to an abdominoplasty or tuck, tummy tuck procedure. Um, this results in a scar from hip to hip and a, some small scar around the umbilicus. Surgery typically takes about six to eight hours. Uh, the hospital stay is typically four to five days and the overall recovery period for this surgery is about uh, three months. So Dieppe flap reconstruction is big surgery and your general health needs to be reasonably good to be considered a candidate for it. Ideally you should be a non-smoker. If you've had some previous surgery to your abdomen uh, that may affect your suitability we will often get a CT scan of the abdomen to look at the blood vessels to ensure your suitability. If you're very much overweight, we may ask you to lose some weight in advance of a DF breast reconstruction to reduce the risk of wound healing complications. In an ideal scenario, you would have enough tissue available from the lower abdomen to match your current breast size. However, if this is not the case, you can reconstruct a slightly smaller breast and reduce the other breast or lift the other breast to match. And for lots of women, they may have a preference to reduce their overall breast size. It can also be considered in slim women by joining up both sides of the abdomen to gather more tissue together. Um, however, it does re result in a scar in the abdomen. So if you have a slim abdomen, there's probably a slightly higher price to pay in terms of the scar in the abdomen. It is a big surgery and it does have a longer recovery period to say implant-based techniques, but the long-term results uh, tend to be better um, and revision surgery is rarely required into the future. So the advantages of DIEP flap reconstruction are that it makes use of your own tissues. So it can produce a breast reconstruction which is feels soft, is warm, and has a more natural appearance than can be achieved with implant reconstructions, for example. It also has the advantage that it ages naturally. So while implant reconstructions tend to sit higher in the chest, a DF flap reconstruction um, will tend to age naturally and drop naturally as uh, your natural breast would. 
For women who have some extra tissue on the lower abdomen, there is of course the added advantage of having a tummy tuck or abdominoplasty type procedure at the same time. Another big advantage is that um, there are rarely problems in the longer term. So once this reconstruction is complete, uh, we generally don't see patients again because uh, revision surgery is rarely required. Um, this is not the case in implant reconstruction, for example, which often need uh, surgical revisions into the future. There are many ways to surgically reconstruct a breast. Uh, broadly speaking, they can be divided into implant-based techniques or using your own tissues called flap techniques. For many women, implant-based reconstruction produces uh, perfectly satisfactory results um, and avoids the need for bigger surgery, which would be associated with uh, flap reconstruction and avoids additional scars. Implants can produce uh, good results in clothing, although they don't tend to look as natural as a flap-based reconstruction. If you are still interested in a flap reconstruction there are, and the abdomen is not available, there are some other sites where we can harvest tissue from. So a common procedure is to take some tissue from the medial thighs, and this is called a, a tug flap or a TUG flap. Uh, tissue can be harvested from the buttock area. Some women, of course, choose not to have a reconstruction and that's absolutely fine also. And uh, You can always consider a delayed reconstruction down the line, so some ladies would choose not to have a reconstruction, see how they get on, and then they can think about their options down the line. Mm -hmm.